hey guys welcome back to my channel and as you can tell by the title of this video yes we are going there yes i have to go there you know this channel is all about talking about loads of different things that might be occurring that might be happening and right now this is very very relevant and very important to talk about so i felt as though it was very very necessary for me to talk about this as you have probably seen all over social media on the news newspapers the whole world has been talking about this one issue this one topic because it's been something that has created a lot of outcry a lot of discomfort a lot of hurt a lot of pain and suffering not just for people over in the US but also for people here in the UK and people like myself who have felt quite personally affected by it as well and you might be thinking well that's somebody else that's someone else's life um you know and I kind of do say that we are our brother's keeper and I tweeted this the other day actually I did say that you know I must be my brother's keeper or we must be our brother's keepers um because if we're not who else is so it hurt me a lot seeing the things that have been happening on the news as you've probably seen and as you know um a man was murdered and yes I'm going to use the word murder because I don't think there's any other word that can be used to describe what has happened recently uh, a man by the name of Alton or Elton I think I think his name is pronounced Elton I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong um, but Elton Sterling was murdered and shot I think six times by a police officer over in the US and another man Philando Castile I think that's how you pronounce his name was also killed um, in the past few days as well and there's been other people that have been killed as well from what I know and it has essentially caused massive outcry you know people have been pouring out to the streets in the US I think Dallas Washington and loads of other places in the US but also here in the UK as well there's been protests in London um, there's also been protests in Birmingham I don't know if there's been protests anywhere else I do apologize if I've missed out anywhere else but essentially people have been standing up and have been screaming and shouting on the streets for the world to hear that we are saying that enough is enough now I know that there are a whole bunch of mixed emotions mixed feelings some people I feel as though don't even know how to feel because of what's been going on in the world right now there's been so much hurt and heartache and so much anger and frustration that some people just kind of don't really know what to do themselves and don't really know um, how to feel and that's one thing that I did want to address right now if you're sitting here and you're watching this and you're very confused as to why people are so angry why people are so mad why people are so upset I think the simplest thing that I can say for you to understand is that this is not something that has just happened today and it's not something that just happened yesterday this is something that has been happening for years and years and years there have been people black people being targeted being murdered being oppressed being suppressed being silenced being dehumanized being devalued undervalued being essentially treated like second-class citizens for years this has been happening, for centuries even this has been happening and that has just been the case. And black people are standing up and saying that we have had enough, we are tired of seeing our brothers and sisters mistreated because of the colour of their skin. And some people might be watching this and thinking, oh my gosh, black people have had enough. They keep bringing out the race card. They keep saying that, oh, it's because he's black. What if he actually had a gun? What if he actually caused, um, committed a crime? What if he actually did this? Well, personally, I believe that what if is not good enough what if is not good enough of a reason for someone to be murdered in the middle of the street and to be taken away from their friends and their family and people that know them what if it's not good enough for somebody to be essentially racially profiled or to be targeted because they think that they are a threat what if it's not good enough and that is what people are tired of and no matter how much we try to sugarcoat it no matter how much we try to say that is not a black thing the facts are there and it's right in our faces and I don't know what else needs to happen for people to realize that yes it is a black thing and I think one of the reasons that we can actually say that yes it is a black thing is because we now have things like technology and social media where we can physically with our own two eyes we see footage people putting out footage on social media of police officers stopping them as they are driving like I saw a video yesterday of a guy in America being stopped by a police officer someone was there were I think three people in the car from what I could see one was recording one was dragged out of the car 
and literally pushed down onto the ground and arrested and another guy had a gun put to his face in the back of the car and he was literally told i will put a round in you so quick as in a bullet in you so quick that is exactly what he said exactly what he said if i can even find the video i'll try and find it and try and put um an insert somewhere of the incident itself that is exactly how black people have been targeted not just men but also women black people are tired of a justice system that does not favor us of educational systems that don't favor us of society in general that does not favor us now the reason why I say a justice system that does not favour us, for example in the UK, in the UK just know that black people only represent I think it's 3.01% of the population. This was according to like a census in like 2011 or something like that. But facts and statistics show that black people are disproportionately represented in prisons so imagine there's only about three percent of us and yet we are constantly being targeted and being incarcerated because people don't like maybe the way we act or the way we talk or because we seem aggressive or we seem rude or we seem disrespectful and even when someone is not resisting arrest they are still thrown to the ground like an animal, stepped on, kicked, punched, treated absolutely disgustingly, not as a human being, but like an animal, as I've said. And they are either killed or thrown into prison. That is the life that we're living. That is the system that has been built in order to continue to oppress the black man or woman. Whether or not you believe me, whether or not you feel as though that is the case or not, no problem. I'm just saying what I see and what I believe to be true. Something else that I wanted to address in this video is the idea that people keep questioning this hashtag Black Lives Matter or this movement rather, Black Lives Matter. People are saying, well, shouldn't it be all lives matter? So why is it? black lives matter we're not saying black lives matter because we want to matter more than another race or another group of people or that we are trying to say that we are the only oppressed group in society no that's not what we're trying to say but what we are trying to say by saying black lives matter is that we want to matter as much as everybody else and essentially what we're trying to say is that if all lives really did matter we would have no need for Black Lives Matter but because that is not the case and because black people continue to be disrespected and continue to be treated so disgustingly by other people who call themselves human beings that is why black life matters and I don't care if you're black white Asian whatever you might be just as a human being who believes that all human beings should be treated equally and with the same respect and dignity you should also be saying black lives matter so the final point that I wanted to make before I finish, I did want to keep this video as short as I possibly could because I didn't want this to become like a long video that people wouldn't want to watch. Um, I kind of want to get straight to the point. But the final point that I did want to make is how then can I be of help? You might be sitting there thinking, okay, what exactly can I do to try and show support for what is going on and to show solidarity with people that are essentially suffering day in, day out because of something that they should not be suffering for? again the color of our skin i say that there are loads of ways in which you can get involved and help even by just writing a status by tweeting by commenting by putting something on facebook you are helping yes there might be some people who might say to you that's not going to do anything well actually it does i don't think that people understand that in 2016 social media and technology is so powerful it literally has the power to make changes in this world so if you are too scared maybe to go out and protest because i know there's some people that might be a little bit worried about safety etc and you are too scared to go out and protest don't feel as though you need to be peer pressure to go out and protest fine fair enough maybe just by writing a comment or using the hashtag black lives matter you actually will be helping secondly if you do feel like you want to go and protest which i actually did i went out to the protest a couple of days ago which started in south bank um then ended in the outside the american embassy here in london and it was an incredible beautiful empowering moment it was a peaceful protest there were no fights none of that and 
it showed that we were in solidarity with America. We are in solidarity with you. If you're sitting and watching this and you are in the US, just know that you matter. Again, people might be thinking, well, what is going out into the streets gonna do? Do you know what it's gonna do? It's gonna make the world look at us. It's gonna make the world want to listen to us. Even if they don't want to, it's gonna force them into listening to us. And it's gonna force people to understand that something is wrong and something needs to change. People protested across history for loads of things and changes have happened. Yes, they haven't been perfect. Yes, we haven't progressed as much as we should have, but things have changed. So if you can get up and take your family members, your brothers, your sisters, whoever, no matter what color, race, or background you might be from, and you feel as though, yes, it is time for me to go out into the streets and to take a stand, go out and do it. It was the most encouraging, most powerful moment of my entire life. It was a beautiful, wonderful moment to see so many people united, coming together for one cause, to say that we have had enough. And I really do hope from the bottom of my heart that you watching this have also had enough and that you can at least sympathize and empathize for what is going on to people with the exact same skin color as me. Those are just two ways that you can help. There are loads of plenty of ways maybe writing to your lo to local constituency writing to your mps doing whatever it is that you want to do that you feel might be able to help so that is the end of this video best believe i've tried to film this video five million times when i say to you five million times the devil has been a liar has, and has tried to stop me from filming this video but i just want to say to everyone who is out there do not be discouraged our brothers and sisters have not died in vain we will continue to fight, we will continue to push forward and we will continue to make the changes that we want to see in this world. And it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, you can make a difference. You are important, you do have a purpose and you have the power to make that change. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope that I've helped to kind of clear some of the thoughts that people have been feeling inside and have been thinking and a lot of emotions. But I just wanna say people continue to be peaceful because they want us to come and start fighting and rioting and doing all the madness but that's not what we're gonna do we're gonna stand together and we're gonna fight and we're gonna let our voices be heard so um yeah continue to encourage one another and stay blessed and stay beautiful